Hey everybody, it's Larissa here. I hope you're having a wonderful time at the Alumni Mixer. I just wanted to thank you for this prestigious award. I wish I could accept it in person, but I'm on set filming in Alberta right now, so. Let's see, so many people to thank. I would like to thank Commonwealth Credit Union, of course, uh, Currency Marketing, my mom, um, the internet, let me think, uh, Ahem, what about me? I had to memorize all the lines. I had to do all the casting. I even wrote the script for you. All you did is take all the credits. <laughs> Sorry about that. I do hope the difference between Banks and Credit Union series has made those of you involved in the industry aware of a different kind of growth. All too often, growth is seen as something empirical. People try to measure it in terms of dollars or account numbers or return on investment. But that's only the beginning. Through my experience with the Young and Free program so far, I've learned that there are so many other ways to grow. You know, whether it's through venturing into the big bad world of Web 2.0, or connecting with your members on a more personal level, or even something as simple as finding humor in your everyday routine. These goals can't be measured in the traditional sense, but they're still extremely relevant and can really make an institution shine. Shine. I personally find that credit unions are so much more creative and so much more flexible than any other kind of financial institution. Even so, sometimes new ideas are met with a little bit of fear and hesitation. This is just a mindset. It can be overcome. So I guess my challenge for all of you, or you, you, all of everybody, is to reflect on all the presentations you've seen throughout the mixer, to recall all the different, unconventional ways of growth that you've witnessed, and to try and implement them, even in the smallest of ways, in your workplace. Because after all, it might be cozy and familiar inside the box, but it's a lot better to think outside of it.